Other things besides major depression can cause a depressed mood. That's why your doctor will want to do some physical examination, some history, and perhaps some lab tests when you're feeling down or depressed. An overactive or underactive thyroid can cause depression. Adrenal gland disorders such as Addison's disease or Cushing's disease can cause mood changes. Addison's disease is an insufficient amount of cortisol in the body and Cushing's disease is an excess of cortisol in the body. Blood tests can detect abnormalities of the thyroid gland and of the adrenal gland. Anemia can cause depression. Specifically, depression caused by vitamin B12 deficiency. Infections can occasionally cause depression. Alcohol use and substance abuse can cause depression. And because every person is different, medicines can cause depression in some people. Even medicines like Tagamet, Zantac, or others can cause depression in some people. Oral contraceptives can cause depression in some people. Corticosteroids, prednisone, for example, taken for diseases such as asthma can cause depression, although more commonly a medicine like pre prednisone would cause mood elevation as a side effect. If you've read on the internet or in medical textbooks, you'll see that cancer can cause depression, but it's important to realize that it's not very common. If you're depressed, the most likely answer is not cancer. Neurologic diseases such as stroke or dementia can also cause depression. Electrolyte imbalances such as low sodium or low serum potassium can cause depression. Chronic heart failure or chronic obstructive lung disease can cause a depressed mood. One disease that people often worry about uh, for some reason is systemic lupus erythematosus. I mention it only because I've found that for some reason People have heard of it and are worried about it. It can cause depression and lots of other symptoms and the name itself sounds very frightening to people. But it's not a common cause of depression. However, if you're specifically worried about it or any other specific disease is a cause for your problem, tell your doctor that you're worried about it so he can address it. Most of the time, the doctor will say that the risk of a certain disease being the cause of your symptoms is less than the risk from a false positive test for the disease. Chronic liver disease and chronic kidney disease can cause depression. Now, you may need to take an antidepressant medicine even if the depression is caused by a medical problem rather than by major depression. Most of the time, if a person comes to the family doctor complaining of a depressed mood that's interfering with the person's life, the cause is major depression, not another medical illness. But how do you know? Well, just like every other problem in medicine, it starts with a history and physical examination. In addition to the questions about depression, the doctor will ask questions about your past medical history, past surgeries, hospitalizations, past serious medical problems that you've had. And the doctor will do a review of systems as a part of his medical exam. In the review of systems, the doctor asks about symptoms of every body system that might cause the problem. He'll ask you about symptoms that might be caused by a, the nervous system or by the lungs or by the heart malfunctioning. The review of systems is the best way for the doctor to avoid overlooking something important yet not order so many lab tests that he ends up going on a wild goose chase. The doctor may order some simple laboratory tests. Simple lab tests can rule out many of the medical causes of depression that I've just talked about. For example, uh, a complete blood count can rule out anemia. And if it's completely normal, it makes vitamin B12 deficiency very unlikely. Thyroid disease can be easily checked by ordering a blood test called the TSH, the thyroid stimulating hormone. Liver and kidney disease can be checked with a complete metabolic profile. That's a blood test that checks a number of different blood values. The complete metabolic profile will also detect low serum sodium and low serum potassium. 
if an infection such as HIV is a possible cause for the mood disorder, an HIV test can be ordered. If you have some specific concern, something or some disease that you're worried about as a cause for your depression, tell your doctor. He may say that it's not likely, but he might also say, well, we can check for that. Well, that's it for this visit. I hope you found it useful and thank you for visiting.